means that, and the fact that uh, you talk to a lot of your uh, European colleagues uh, before you're coming here, before your arrival, it means that uh, you're carrying with you some kind of initiative, uh, personal, or something that uh, you already talked about it uh, with your colleagues. Yeah, I'm convinced that uh, we have to find a solution the next days uh, to extend the program and to have a new discussion about the next five years so to find a stable situation for Greece. And I'm not the only one of prime ministers who is really interested that this European Union has only a future if we have respect and solidarity. And therefore, Jean-Claude Juncker, who is the president of the Commission, has to find a compromise institution with Greece, with the government, and we have to support this process and if there is a result, to support this result, because time is running out and so it's important to find a solution the next days. I know that you belong to the politicians, the European politicians that insist for a long-term solution, yes. five years yes. and more specific yes. measures. Yes. So you think that this is possible, this is something that is on the backside of the mind of the European leaders? I think it's tough to find such a solution. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, you have to convince uh, many people who are at the moment not on our side. But I'm totally sure that if you don't have space and time for a midterm, uh, uh, five years for example, mm -hmm. period, then you cannot find investments. Because if you say one of the most important things is fighting unemployment, you need investment. And if you invest, Greek company or an Austrian company or another company, uh, they have to be sure that's a stable country for the next five years mm -hmm. and not these uh, weekly or monthly uh, meetings of crisis. So it's important to find this way because if you ask people what's your main concern, it's the concern not to have a job. Uh, it's the unemployment rate, it's uh, the fear that you cannot go to a hospital because uh, you have not an insurance, and so I think this is the only way. Okay, two more questions if it's okay with you, <laughs> okay. short ones. Okay. Okay. Uh, what you are expecting as the next steps of the Greek government, what you, what you are expecting as the next steps of, the, of your European colleagues, the institutions? The next step must be to have a paper, a compromise, Jean-Claude Juncker uh, should uh, put on the table for the heads of governments. The heads of governments are different in their procedures. Uh, if we find at the meeting, for example, next week a solution on Thursday, for Austria it needs only one day uh, to agree. Other countries need uh, more days because they have to uh, go to the parliament for an agreement uh, and so it's important not to waste time we need a proposal uh, negotiations are necessary between the Greek government and the Commission the institutions and I trust Jean-Claude Juncker because he's a European who is convinced that the future of Europe is a future of Europe with Greece also with the Eurozone and my last question you talked a few days ago about the danger of the familiarity of the Brexit. So do you really believe that uh, Brexit is an option on the table or this is a kind of tool? And how far from your point of view were from a final solution, from a solution, from a, an agreement? For me, it's never an option. Brexit is never an option for me because I believe in solidarity and in the future of Europe together with Greece in the Eurozone and the risk of uh, Grexit is so high for the people and paying the bill uh, of, uh, with poverty, uh, uh, with influence of other countries. So for me, it's never an option. Uh, so we have to avoid it. And so we have to, uh, don't waste time to negotiate to find a solution very fast. Mr. Cancelo, thank, thank you very much. Thank you indeed. <laughs>